Comfort index of for this Wednesday. We're giving it a 7 out of 10. And that's all due to the cloud cover and pockets of mist that are out there first thing this morning. If you're looking for the sunshine, that'll come into play later on this afternoon, mainly after 2, 3 p.m. Live look at first alert weather radar. We widen it out and we take a look at that system that I was just teasing about about 30 seconds ago. This larger system that's down around Atlanta right now, creating certainly heavy pockets of rain, and this will continue to impact parts of the eastern seaboard here for the remainder of this midweek day, and that'll create some delays across the country in regards to air travel. Now we move across the country and go off to our west. This is our next system, this area of low pressure, this is going to continue to strengthen, move its way across the center portion of the country, and that's going to bring us our next first alert cold front as we head on into this weekend. We're talking Friday right on into Saturday. So I want you to pay attention to the words here and the images on your screen now regarding this upcoming weekend. Friday is just going to be sloppy out there. We're going to see the rain increasing throughout the morning hours and at times during the afternoon, evening and overnight pockets of some steady rain rolling on in. I've upped our rain percentage to 90%. And then as enough cold air comes into play on Saturday, we're talking wind chills right around 30 degrees all day long with the northwest wind. Wouldn't it be surprised if we see a few scattered snowflakes flying into the air during Saturday afternoon and evening? Those snowfall accumulation right now not looking likely, but something we'll keep monitoring here in first alert weather as the latest data comes into play. But regarding the waterworks returning for the first part of the weekend, I think we're going to tap into around a half an inch, maybe upwards of an inch of water. A good bucket of water for us was still the heaviest amount of rain staying just off to our south and east. Putting this into motion, we have some mist out there first thing this Wednesday morning. You'll notice that out at the bus stop on this Wednesday. And then here we are at 3 p.m. Notice how we start to break the clouds. High temperatures for today right around 50 degrees. We'll cloud things up once again for Thursday. Wake up to a few pockets of fog and a few pockets of some mist first thing Thursday morning in the future track. And then as we go throughout the afternoon, unlike today where we're going to break up the clouds towards the second half of the afternoon, Thursday, I think we're going to stay cloudy in much of the day. We'll have to watch out for just some peekaboo sunshine. That's some of that sunshine peeking through the clouds. Otherwise, expect a more gray day for Thursday. And that's all ahead of our next system. On Friday, here's the cold front arriving during the morning hours. We're going to see that showers increasing across Michiana with times of heavy, steady rain moving on in for the afternoon and evening. If you have outdoor plans for the second half of Friday, well, plan for the waterworks that to be around. We're talking the umbrella, the rain jacket that'll need to travel you with you on Friday, and you'll need to keep that around for the first part of the weekend. And you'll see a little bit of a snow icon showing up there. Again, not likely snowfall accumulation, but your eyes, they're not going to play tricks on you if you see a few scattered snowflakes flying into the air and behind that cold front we trend cooler temperatures around 40 degrees for both Saturday and Sunday and then we gradually get a rebound early next week Monday Tuesday sunshine increasing and temperatures going back above average. All right, Andrew. Hey, coming up, a whale of a story. There is a whale that scientists haven't seen in more than 200 years in a place that